in his P-51 Mustang, nicknamed Old Yeller, and his famous Shrike 500 Commander have thrilled millions of spectators around the world. Bob learned to fly at age 16 and enlisted in the Army Air Corps when World War II broke out a few years later. He flew his first air show in 1942 for his Air Corps graduating class. At age 21, Bob received the Distinguished Flying Cross and went on to see combat in the European theater. He was shot down off the coast of southern France while fighting four enemy planes, shooting down two before his Spitfire was disabled. Bob spent the last 16 months of the war in a German prison camp. After the war, Bob was hired by North American Aviation and tested a variety of aircraft, including the F-86 Sabrejet, the F-100 Super Sabre, and Sabre Liner Corporate Jet. Bob has tested aircraft from all over the world and has set a number of world aviation records. He has received over 100 aviation awards, including the Purple Heart, the Distinguished Flying Cross, the Soldier's Medal, and the Air Medal. In 1988, Bob was initiated into the prestigious Aviation Hall of Fame. Well, I first flew the Victor engines in 1982, and I chose Victor because of his great reputation. I went up to Victor Aviation and took a look at his shops and met with his people. And it seemed to me to be a clean room environment. Everybody was very responsible about what they were doing. And each person had a certain task to accomplish. I performed 570 air shows without a problem and 4,800 hours of flying time. I've had complete reliability and safety throughout all of those flights. And you have to remember that those engines are receiving the worst punishment any engines could ever receive. During most of the maneuvers, I would accelerate the engines to maximum power. Then while diving the aircraft to the red line airspeed, abruptly shut off the engines and feather the propellers. The worst shock situation you could expose the engines to. This would create the maximum energy I needed to perform my engine out flight maneuvers, which I have called the energy management series. After completion of the engines off maneuvers, the engines are unfeathered, the props are unfeathered, and the engines are started again. Not once in my many years of flying Victor engines did an engine ever fail to restart. And believe it or not, I never had any major problems while flying consecutively to TBO several times. You know, one thing that impressed me about Victor's engines is that Victor doesn't modify the engines, he just perfects them to operate the way the original engineers intended them to operate. The airspeed was several knots faster than it had been uh, before those engines were installed. But I think the most significant thing was the lack of vibration. Uh, you can pick up a resonance in an airplane, and generally it comes from the engines or the props. But everything about these engines are so well balanced there was practically no shake at all, and that is very impressive, especially when you've been living with shake all your life. Thanks to Victor Sloan and his dedicated group of professionals, they have provided me with the quality, performance, and reliability that has allowed me to perform my flight maneuvers routinely for years, and the engines never missed a beat. 